There we go. Hello, person who's watching. I am creating a video based on something that happened just this morning, and it's called Screw Wix, Screw Squarespace. If you actually have a Wix or Squarespace site, get it off. They're the worst. I hate them. Terrible. End of story. And I'm going to create a very quick reason why before I scare you away. Uh, but I'm going to do this because I have a couple clients who are asking me, should I go to Wix or should I go to Squarespace? And I have actually said, sure, why not? Why, you know, if it's easier for you, great. If you don't really want to mess around with your site, if you want to have it all in one spot, I really don't care. But if you actually care about your online presence, don't put it on Wix, right? Because there's a few things that Wix and Squarespace both do. However, that said, they just did something that is so super crappy that I can't ever recommend them. They are freaking holding domains hostage. We knew that. So say if you get you have nothing and you start up a business and you're like, hey, I wanna, you know, start from scratch. And you're like, I here's my domain. I don't own it, but I'm gonna fill it in and I'm gonna do it. So you're like, hey, Johnny be good business school whatever.com. And you set up your site and domain through Wix and Squarespace. What happens is they they are effectively buying that domain for themselves and licensing or brokering it to you. So not only are they upcharging a couple extra bucks, which is not a big deal, uh, it's for the ease and convenience, but if anything were to happen to your site or if you fail to pay, they can hold that domain hostage because you don't own it. So let's just say you have a company called Bauer Graphics. They own that URL. And guess what? Do you think that if there was ever a dispute, they would somehow upcharge you for that? No, that wouldn't happen. Well, here's what happened to me today. One of our clients realized what was happening, uh, that they purchased, Wix had purchased the domain through Network Solutions. Basically, a third, they purchased the domain for my client through Network Solutions. They don't own Network Solutions. Uh, I'll have to see if Network Solutions owns Wix. The reality is that when we did the transfer, they gave us the old GoDaddy. Hey, are you sure you want to move? Because you could lose access to your site. No worries. I know what we're doing. We switched the domain host from Wix to Google. And guess what? Site goes offline overnight. Overnight. It usually takes seven days, but it goes offline overnight, like right away. That's weird. Because usually it takes, with GoDaddy, they have to verify and they have to do this. But with uh, Wix, it went offline right away. And when you went to it, it gives you a Wix ad space. This site does not exist here. What is that about? Well, a normal customer would be like, what's happened? Oh my gosh, they go into Wix. They don't have it to where you can reconnect your domain uh, listed anywhere in your, in your admin. In your admin, there's no listing for how to do that. I would show you the client. I'll do this in my own video, but there's no way to reconnect your video. So I went to Google, typed in Wix, uh, reconnect domain. Well, it takes me to a Wix uh, fact page that says, oh, well, to reconnect your domain, just bring it over to Wix and we'll hold it. But you know what? If you've recently transferred it, we can rescue it, but you can't transfer it again for another 60 days. So they're effectively saying, we'll save you and you won't be able to make this decision again for 60 days. Well, guess what? Businesses move forward. You're not going to make that decision Again, you're like, oh, I already lost my site once. I'm not going to lose it again. So they're holding holding you basically like a gun up against you. It's like, we'll fix it for you. But know that uh, you can't do it again for 60 days. Most people in this situation would just say, get it fixed. I don't care. And I don't want to do this again. Once bitten, twice shy. Well, I couldn't find any other way to reconnect the domain. So I actually had to find another, do was another search for Wix and reconnect your domain, found something that wasn't connected to Wix that showed me what I had to do. And I had to dig deep into menus to find a way to connect the domain. And when I did, it said, oh, do you want to connect this domain to Wix? The one that was just there, by the way, the one that they were hosting, the one that they had been hosting, they asked me a single question with a radio button is, wait, do you want to connect this domain to, to Wix? Is, are you sure? Yes, that's it. And it put the site back online. So effectively, Wix is <laughs> not only, 
Here's what Wix is doing. And Squarespace. They suck. I can't recommend them anymore. I mean, if even if you're like a, a small business, know that don't do it. Don't don't do Wix or Squarespace. I mean, sure, sure. Get your domain somewhere else and you can do a Wix or domain site or, or Wix or Squarespace quickly. But here's the deal. They are holding your domain hostage. They are holding they they are uh, forcing your dependence on their services. So this client also is being overcharged for Google. They're also being overcharged for other services that are free. SSL, uh, you can do, they're doing Let's Encrypt. That's all free. They're charging for that. And that, so again, these are all nominal. These are little, little things. But when you start adding them up, it becomes a bigger thing. The last one, and this is the reason I don't ever recommend using Wix or Squarespace if you have a legitimate business, is that they hijack your SEO. So anytime you pay money to Google Ads, anytime you're paying money to advertise your services and it comes to your site, it's hitting Wix data first. And so Google bots and they, they recognize it as a Wix location. And here's what's funny. In order to get over the barrier, these Google sees so many Wix and Squarespace sites, but they can't justify or verify any of them. So what's going on is that you get put into a bucket of People that use three hundred dollar coupons or hundred dollar coupons or spend under three or twenty five hundred a month into this bucket, and you're not getting any value until you exceed that spend. Wix, because what's happening is you're getting dumped into a group of what could be spam, what could be garbage, but also uh, when the your advertise when someone comes to that or whatever, it's going to say it's a Wix site. You're advertising for Wix, not for your services. So any money you dump into it, sub 2,500 bucks is going to advertise Wix in Squarespace. Screw them, they're garbage companies. They are holding people's businesses and livelihoods hostage. Screw them, don't work with them. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you and I lost everybody who was watching this, but that's all right. Uh, do not use Wix or Squarespace. I'll explain why in another video. Have a great day and a happy Friday. Wonderful weekend, everybody.